bright as hell. Yeah. Here. Yeah, man, I'm almost swimming weather today, huh? Yeah. This it's is... so windy. I need to be out here. Fuck. Yep, staying up all night and shit. How's your medical condition? Oh, I'm good to go now. I've been out here. She went up right there. I don't know, she likes to go out this way. I go out that way. It's like, all right. It's road and shit. Yeah, I go back to getting rid of it or not. And it's like, okay, every time I change my mind about putting it on there, do it, redo it, and it's like, I order a part, it comes in, and I'm like, ah. Yeah. I'm getting closer. I still need that money, but. What do you need the money for? Weather like this. All my taxes and everything come behind. I'm not working now, so it's like, I don't like living check to check. Yeah. <laughs> like put my bills ahead of time. Yeah. But the taxes are due earlier this year and stuff, so it's like, uh, I need the truck fixed and run it too, so there's a few hundred dollars I'm going to need. Yeah. What's wrong with your truck? Um, I need a the front end. I got, I ran over a stump. I don't know if that messed anything up or not, but I think, I'm hoping just the U-joints and that in the front. I got a bad rattling crank inside when I put in four-wheel drive and stuff. And okay. It's got like a lot to it. I hope I didn't bend nothing or at least bend nothing I can't buy. <laughs> yeah. Huh, I see. Something's messed up. That and the converter on it, so. Yeah, well, I'm trying to sell my Cougar. I, I, I can't afford it. It's too much for insurance considering it's a V6, and these four bangers are much cheaper. I'm going to turn around. I keep going up and around. We'll just take that road back up here, buddy. So how long have you lived in this area of Mansfield? I uh, grew up. That's where I've grown up all the time. I used to live out by the racetrack. That's where I was born. Okay. Yeah, I moved here in about 2000. Actually, I'm adopted. And my parents uh, moved from Chicago, uh, Illinois, down here with uh, our grandparents. So, well, that was all Is right. Green Greenwich or Willard? Where you Greenwich. Greenwich. Yeah. I actually live just off of 13, actually. You know where Fowler's Woods is, or uh, uh, Landfill is, Rumkey Landfill? Yeah, I know where that, uh, forget the name of that road, that was real right there. Right. Yeah, I actually live just right, not even a mile or two from Rumkey Landfill, so. Yeah, I used to go there all the time, man. That's a long ass drive to haul trash to Johnsville. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Don't slow down by this guy's house. Don't even look at him. I don't want to see that fucker. Uh, at least I know where he's at. Well, don't go speed and speed. Just, just, yeah. just don't slow down. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, if I may ask? I don't know if he's a fucking snitch, narc, bitch, what he is, man. He's just an asshole. What do you do to you? Eh, just... He does criminal shit all the time, but it's like everybody else gets in trouble. He just Because of him. Yeah, man. Just talks about shit to people. Did we go straight? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the next road here, hang a left. Yeah, I keep forgetting this. That road, when you come out, you'd have had to went to the. Well, you go left or right too. But yeah, this the road we come up, Lux Ontario, is right up here. Okay. I keep forgetting all these roads when they come through. They're like S roads. Every one of these side roads are almost S shaped. I know. It's they run crazy. all the way from the ballpark over there to the park over here. I don't know Mansfield all that well, so. I just know how to get like Yeah, he works through He's the one that got busted. I don't know how he kept his damn Straight. job. For, no. It's just, I live up here. I'm sorry. There's a new Dodge Dart. And those things are nice. I ain't looked at one yet. Oh, they take over for the Neon or something? Is that what they did? I think so. I wonder why they brought that back. I'm not, I'm not pressing. My boy's got a 73 Dart. I'm I'm a Mopar fan. So. I like Mopar. i seen it. It's... See them small, it might be a little sporty, but I take it they're all, they took over the Neon, because I don't know if they make it in a two-door or not, I, the only thing I've seen is a four-door. Yeah. So, but. Something like that. This thing's always peppy, I'll tell you that. 
Oh uh, yeah, I get like I said, me and it when I got it, it was 30, 40 mile an hour car, but now it's a 70, 80 mile an hour car. But I don't run it that hard. I was the other day though, I was out on 71, I went to Columbus, down Delaware. Yeah. I was cranking 70. <laughs> well, this way I don't think gas gets good in it or not, you know? Oh, was I supposed to turn it? Yeah, just turn it right. Dead here, carefully. I'm pretty good at driving. Wait, the cars behind you. <laughs> Wham! Yeah, that's how fast they fly around here. Flying like a bat out of hell. Man, she drives like a dream, I tell you what. Yeah, like I said, man, that's the only upcoming thing, might be the exhaust. Yeah. Not a big deal. Like I said, the oil change, and I got to change the windows, but, uh. Don't run it 80 mile an hour. Don't run into piss out of it. You know, it's, you know, it's a four cylinder with a couple hundred thousand miles on it, supposedly, so. This thing could go another couple hundred. It could. Uh, like I said, like, oil change, don't run it. Oil change is the cheapest investment you could ever make. That is true. I want to try something else. What? Yeah, it did. Yeah, you just got your piezo cheaper turned off because my dad is a 99 Camry, same everything, and he's got the same VIP uh, Toyota security and goes like beep, beep. Yeah, every now and then it chirps. Really? Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. It's like, it. Yeah. All right, then, well, um, how, how many other people have you heard 